I'm Kyla. I'm Winter, and this is True Cherishment 15. So, yeah, I'm at school. I gotta get this finished. Um, so I got some questions for you on my phone right here. Okay, so have you ever experienced bullying? Yes, multiple times. Okay, how did you handle those situations? Either blowing up or walking away. And neither one is a really good uh, way to end it. So what would you recommend now, looking back? Uh, don't let them get to you. Um, if they really are that bad, go to somebody of a higher authority over them. I was bullied too. And um, it didn't stop until I actually told a teacher. And it wasn't even a teacher I was really close to. But I feel like it gets harder over the years. You know, in elementary school, every teacher is kind of there for you, I kind of feel like. And so you can go to them and be like, so-and-so is bullying me. And then they like, be like, oh, no. But when you get to, like, high school, some teachers be like, What yeah. do you want me to do? Yeah. I think you just really have to find a teacher that you have a connection with when it's, like, in this upper level and you're in high school and tell them what's going on. Especially if it's, like, really bad. But if it's just, like, they call you a couple of names, usually you can ignore them. Yeah, older kids are mean. Okay, so I have some stories here. Um, we're going to have commentary. We're going to stop, like, almost every other sentence, okay? And we're going to comment on this, <laughs> okay? My nightmare life. I started to get bullied in third grade. So did I. I'm always the new girl in schools. I think when you're a new girl in school, you really have to put forth who you are and how you want to come off to people. I feel the same way about that. You can't. It's all the perception of somebody and how yeah. they see you as a person. Yeah. Well, I get into fights because people pick on me. Like, people are always going to um, pick on you and put you down, but you can't just start a fight over that because you start the fight with the wrong person. You might not come out of that fight. You get smushed. In seventh grade, I began to cut myself and started to get in a lot of trouble. Cutting yourself is never the answer. Like, I've never done it. I haven't thought about it, maybe. But it's not a way to go. It's And it makes you look worse than what it is to get bullied, to be honest. Because mm -hmm. you're actually looking like, wow, that girl really has, like, nothing better to do. Like, I understand that you're bullied and all, but seriously? You're going to try to end your life for that? Yeah. Rise above bullying. Yeah, you. I think in this situation, she was feeling that it was her fault that she was being picked on. Mm, my chee cheese. Mm. <laughs> Sorry. I felt like it was her fault for being picked <laughs> on. And so she felt like she had to um, harm herself, that it, she was to blame for it. I just, I don't understand why you cut yourself. I don't either. I don't see how you could do harm to yourself like that. I mean, it hurts, you guys. I, I don't know what to tell you. That that mess hurts. Even yeah. just a little scrape here and there or a cat scratch. I mean, that stuff hurts. But think about it. Like, blades on your arms and, like, all over your body. That's just crazy. And, I mean, I just pray for those people like that. And, I mean, I've seen lots of people that have done it or they know someone that has done it and you know usually they're really great people they just feel that when they're not accepted and they want to be accepted that it's their fault so I, I also think this would have brought on more bullying by cutting yourself that's like the point of all this. yeah I do like, too I, I feel like somebody would like someone of you. yeah and even if you have long sleeves and you're wearing long sleeves like and it's the summertime people are going to start to wonder hmm Really? And then you're always going to have that one nasty person that's going to come up to you and be like, oh my god, look, she cut through hell. Yeah. I think there's one in every crowd, so. Yeah. When people found out I cut myself, they began to call me emo, stupid, etc. See, it just made the bullying worse. This year in 8th grade, I'm always depressed, but people can't see it. And the people that bullied me last year continue to bully me. 
it does that a lot. Um, so she said she is always depressed. I think, really, life is too short to be depressed. It's going to happen. It happens. Sometimes. I feel like everybody has a little touch of depression, though. Like, and the people that are always like, I'm so depressed, I'm so depressed. Well, hop in line. Everybody else is depressed, too. I mean, it's not just one certain thing that causes depression. I mean, yeah, getting called names and stuff causes you to be depressed, but you also cause yourself to be depressed in the way you perceive people and don't get to know why they're talking about you like that. Yeah, the way you perceive yourself, too. You just have to be happy with who you are. You really have to be optimistic, look on the bright side, because there's always going to be bad things that happen in life. Yep. Uh, what was that? Oh, I'm not pretty, skinny, or fast, but that shouldn't be your reason for bullying me. I mean, they're looking at every possible thing that they're not and putting it into a reason why people are bullying them when they really have no correlation. I mean, I'm not pretty, okay? I'm not skinny or fast, but you shouldn't be bullying me. You know what I'm saying? Like that. Yeah, even like, why are you bullying me? Kind of. And my past has scared me, and I just wish I can end my life. I want bullying to stop. I want bullying to stop, too. But there's you, no sense in ending your life over bullying. No. There are better ways out than ending your life. You, I think in this situation, you really need to find someone you can trust and talk to. Find a friend, I mean. Yeah, and if you can't in your environment, then you need to tell your parents. If your parents don't care, I'll, I always say journal or, like, find a healthy way to express yourself. Yeah. So you release all of this. Okay, let me go one more. Hello. A video. It's Miss Gibbs. She's cool. Okay. She's awesome. Seven years. I'm 14, 14 years old. Female living in Australia. I was bullied for around seven years and no one knows. I was told I was ugly, fat, tub of lard, King Kong, fail will. It got to the point where I was thinking of committing suicide. There's another person trying to kill themselves. I still am on some days. It has affected me and... Is it, ooh, ooh. it has affected me in ways I can't describe. I have a, mm, I have a fear that I will never be held, kissed, or made love to. Okay, well, you're 14, and you don't need to be thinking about that. So, on that note, should bullying not. should be one thing that you're concerned about, while other things mentioned in there should not be. I actually see where she's coming from, because, like, if you're being picked on, you start to wonder, am I pretty? What's wrong with me? What's wrong with me? No one can possibly love me. It's and then not what's wrong love... with you. It's what's wrong with the person bullying you. Exactly. And lots of people don't get through that. The boy that was bullying me, I think he had, like, a little crush on me. But, like, that's not cute. You don't you don't pick on someone that you like. All guys do that. Well, you don't go so hardcore. Like, I did not like when you talking stop. to me like that. What? What did I say? Oh. <laughs> oh god that's lunch okay um where was i everyone knows me as some outgoing person with bubbly personality but it hurts so much to think that people don't find me attractive the worst thing is when someone said that everyone hates me and over time i started to believe all the insults hurled at me while i just laughed and brushed it off with a cocky smile it got to me and it still does to be insulted almost every day several times for half your life hurts over time, you believe them, and now I wonder if they were right. I think you really just have to accept that you're a good person. And if you don't feel like you're a good person, then look at the traits that you believe will make you a good person and work towards them. Yeah, I mean, we all have that one person that we're around that kind of, like, tells us, oh, you're so ugly, or, oh, my gosh, really? Like, are you serious right now? You're so ugly and you're so fat and all this stuff. But you honestly have to be more loving towards yourself and be able to respect yourself enough to understand that 
you're made perfectly in the way that you are. So, at the end of the day, it's only your opinion of yourself and God's opinion of yourself that matters. Yeah. Okay, this is someone apologizing for being a bully. To all the people I was mean and to all the people I've done bad things to. I'm sorry. I know all the things I have done won't be replaced by sorry. I'm skipping around because this is long. Uh, the things I've told to people are way too mean. Like once I told someone, oh my gosh, you're actu you actually have friends. That was one of the worst things that I've ever told someone. I don't even think that's really all that bad. Like, I mean, it's bad coming from somebody saying that. But, mm -hmm. like, that's honestly not the worst case scenario. And if that person has enough guts to go up and apologize for saying something like that as its worst, then the people that are really saying mean and hurtful things should be able to come apologize to people as well. Yeah. They say, I don't even think I deserve to be happy. I really regret being a mean girl, but being a mean girl before, I learned that being a B-word, I'm not saying that, was not cool. I learned, but being a mean girl before was one of my biggest regrets that I will bring until I grow up. It's something really regrettable, so I'm sorry. You guys deserve all the happiness in the world. I don't. I really wish I could say sorry personally, even though it's too late. So they didn't come face to face and say sorry. Yeah, but they but, posted it online. And yeah. I still think that apologizing, you have to, after you say your sorries, you have to move on with your life. And I think this person does deserve to be happy. You just have to make yourself a better person. Remember what you did. Remember and never to go will back. Eat you a lot. Yeah, <laughs> never go back there. And then, like, don't focus on the guilt and the feeling of it. I think we're finished. I'm not sure I didn't have anything else to say. Well, no, that's it. Thank you, Kyla. You're welcome, Winter. Remember, forgive and live.